Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree and this is tutorial number four for drawing a portrait. Last time I explained to you that I was going to be doing surprise and so I just kind of wanted to walk you through what we have so far um, and just to let you know that the tutorials that I um, do have here on these will be listed in the description box. This was number one. I went over uh, features and we just did kind of like a natural looking face. We talked about how color can also um, portray a emotion. In this one, we definitely talked about how color can portray an emotion. We also talked about different textures that you can apply to anywhere in your work. Um, we talked about some different background lines and we also talked about how uh, the shoulders, where they can fit in proportionate to um, the size of the head and then how to draw the features in a turned down sad type of look. So that was number two. And then number three was uh, proud or content or pleased. Um, we eliminated the ears for once. We also closed the eyes and um, we just talked about how the hair could flow in front of the uh, girl, which we hadn't done yet. So that was number three. So number four, is going to be surprised, like I said. Her eyes are going to be open. Um, I thought maybe adding earrings would be fun this time. Throwing the hair behind one shoulder and in front of the other is also fun. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna stick with the process of showing you my supplies beforehand so that way you can gather them as we work. I'm gonna do the Sharpie again. This is a fine point Sharpie. This is a Sharpie pen. I have a uh, pencil, random pencil that I just grabbed, and this is the Dark Wash Derwent Sketch Pencil. So this is going to be water soluble. It'll dissolve a little bit with water. I didn't go over this last time, but these are Winsor & Newton Cotman line, and this is a size eight. This is the majority of the painting that I use with this brush. And then for fine detailed work, it's the same Winsor Newton Cotman series, and it is a four. I do use my Schmincke watercolors um, when I do this. Any watercolors or markers or whatever would be fine too. Um, so anyway, without further ado, let's get started. I am going to kind of do her more like a journaling uh, girl instead so you could um, add some text in her shirt. So I'm going to start up top on this page. Um, I've been doing oval heads, or I mean, sorry, I've been doing more circular heads the last couple times. So I'm going to do more of an oval this time. I always start off with drawing where my eyes and where my nose are going to be, my nose and mouth. I'm going to go ahead and add my ears in because I do want them to show. We're going to maybe add some earrings this time. So I just went ahead and added my ears in. Now I'm going to, I always just like to start with the nose. I'm not really sure why, but I like to at least pinpoint where I want it. So we're going to draw in the nose here. And then what I did there was, and I don't think that I've showed you this before, so um, this is kind of the noses that, I'll put it this way actually, the noses that we had drawn um, the first time. And then, um, oh yeah, I guess I did do that in this sad now that I'm looking at it, but we'll just go over it a little bit better. So um, you can still draw this shape, but what you wanna do is you then wanna add a nostril here, and then you can almost like eliminate this and kind of curve this around. So that's what I did right there. It's just rather small because the paper is smaller. I am going to pick a side that I want my shadow to be on. And I'm drawing in my eyelids. For Now we're making her surprised. So she is going to have a bit of a worried line because she is like shocked. Um, her eyebrows are going to instead of completely turning down like they were sad, they're gonna kinda curve up and then go down. Like, oh my gosh. So I can just make those 
into a shape, okay? And then you are going to, when you like raise your eyes really big, you have um, most people, and I am definitely one of them, have um, forehead wrinkles. So we're just going to lightly draw in a few. It doesn't have to be a ton, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're going to draw the eye. Now the eye is going to kind of turn up so they look more open. And there's not gonna be very much space in between your eyelid and your eye. So I'm going to come down here. So they're going to be a lot bigger than what you would normally draw them. So I made them rather close to my eyelid and I turned them up at the end and then I'm gonna pop them down here because they're really big. And then when I draw in my circle, I'm gonna see the whole circle. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little circle for her glare. And then when I draw the pupil, it's not going to be very big. So she's kind of like shocked. Now what I wanna do, her mouth is going to be open, so I'm going to pull down some of these lines. Um, that's just because when you open your mouth, your cheek kind of expands. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a shape that um, kind of looks like, I don't even know how to explain it, but you're gonna draw that type of shape. And then I'm gonna add the top lip it's just very, very thin. I'm gonna add the teeth. I'm gonna do a bottom lip. The bottom lip doesn't go all the way up. When you when you stretch out your mouth, the, this, this lip area right there is very, very thin. And then at the bottom, you can kinda like curve this around. And then I'm gonna make a tongue there. So our mouth's open. I am going to shape up her face a little bit more just so that way um, I have enough chin, I guess I should say. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit more because I drew too close, I think. Again, I like the neck. If I drew a line straight down here, this is where I like to put the neck. And then I am going to do my scooped neck and then... Since her ear's here, I'm gonna measure her eye. And this is where I want the shoulders to come down to here. So I'm gonna draw a line down and then out here. And then here's where I'm gonna put like some journaling. So I'm just going to, Allie Brown does this a lot. And sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't, but it's fun, so we'll put some journaling in her. And then we want to maybe put her um, hair behind this ear and then in front of this ear. So we, or no, 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 we want to see the ears because we want earrings. So we want to put the hair maybe in front of this shoulder, but behind the ear. So that's something different. Um, I'm gonna bring this up, make her have little innards. You can do um, dangly earrings or not dangly earrings for the sake of time. I'm going to do um, circles, just little studs. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sweep the hair behind this ear, but, oh, I guess both ears, huh? I keep doing that. We'll put it in front here. All right, so now we're gonna outline everything up. When I draw in her forehead wrinkles, I'm going to hold my pencil, or my, my marker, sorry, really far back, so that way this line is very thin. And sometimes it like skips across the page and that's okay. Cause really they're not like, they don't need to be like super dominant. They just need to be visible. Mm -hmm. 
same with these little lines down here, just barely touching my pen to the page. Okay, I can go ahead and draw in these lines if I want to now. I could wait and draw them in later, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and do it, just cause. At this point, you can erase all your lines. Again, mine is a water-soluble pen, so I don't really, or pencil, so I don't really need to erase them. Um, so we're just gonna start painting now. With this one, um, I am going to kind of just do her normal. I do have this Tombow marker that I've talked about before in 942 um, or any skin tone marker um, as like a little cheat. I'm actually just going to use the watercolors that I have here but you can go ahead and cheat if you want to. Um, grab my towel. All right. So just gonna kind of walk you through what I'm doing. I'm gonna start with the inside of the face like always, just because if I start here, then I can work on the background and then some of that can dry. I can go move to either the hair or the shirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the face. With the skin tone, I kind of talked about it in my last video, so I'm not gonna go over it in this one. I'm using the same skin tone combination, and I'm just going to start filling this in. If I feel it's too dark, I wet my brush, and I pull that pigment that I did already place on the page around. Now remember, I do have that water-soluble pencil on my paper, so it's going to turn everything a little dingy or gray. Um, if you don't like that, then don't use it. I don't really care. I'm trying not to fill in the white part of her eye. That is very important, um, especially in this kind of portrait because that's the thing that stands out the most is her eyes. So once I get all that done, I'm just gonna add a little bit more brown to my mixture and I'm going to pull it to the darker areas. I am gonna add some to the um, wrinkle lines. And then I wet my brush make it a little damp and then kind of bleed, bleed it out a little bit, blend it out, move it around a tad. If I feel that it's moving too much, then I wet my brush and I dry it off, kind of clean it, dry it, and then I go back and kind of pull up those areas because I don't want to lose my white space. So I'm doing a lot of lifting right now. It bled a lot, which is fine. I mean, it happens. And I'm lucky that it's still wet. So I'm just gonna let that dry for now. So that's my first layer. I'm gonna work on the background. I'm gonna do a very neutral background. I'm gonna go with gray this time. I'm gonna do her shirt. I'm just picking random colors. I have two uh, different purples. So I added one purple to one side and the other purple to the other. And then I'll kind of blend them together. I am going to work on her mouth a little. So her teeth are going to be semi-white. I mean, not everyone's teeth are completely white, but you know, whatever. And um, I'm going to do her tongue. 
Her tongue is going to be a mixture of my red and then my a little bit of my darkest brown. I'm just gonna let that sit there. Her eyes I'm gonna make green today. I have some green just kind of sitting here in my palette, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that up. Avoiding the uh, highlight. I should have used my detailed brush because I got a little crazy. That's okay. Can show you how to fix a mistake. Sometimes I just get too much water on my brush too. I enjoy water a little too much, I think. So um, I'm just gonna add that first layer of green and then I can always go back into it and make it more green. But we'll go with that for now. I do want to get rid of that little green spot right there. Can you guys see that? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna make it kind of like damp and then I'm gonna scrub at that right there kind of blend it out and then I'm going to take my towel and dab at that and it should go away. I'm going to start on the hair now. Let's see what we've done. So let's do blonde because we really haven't done blonde. So what I'm going to start with is some yellow ochre. Mix some yellow ochre with some yellow. You just don't want it to be too I mean, maybe you do. I'm just not gonna make it too bright. And I'm just going to do my base like I always do. I'm kind of scrubbing at mine a little bit more because I'm trying to dissolve that pencil. <laughs> and it is turning more dingy, so I probably could have used the regular yellow. Got that on her forehead a bit. <laughs> No big deal, blend it out. I'm going to use this color for her eyebrows. And if I want them to be darker later, I can add that to it if I feel like they need to be. Okay, I'm going to let that kind of dry and I'm gonna move on to making some shadows on the face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a uh, burnt sienna color and brown and I'm gonna water that down. And I'm gonna add it to all these areas. Then I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna wet it and I'm just gonna kind of blend these out and then let that dry a bit. I'm going to paint in her um, lips a little. I'm mixing pink and some brown and they're small so there we go. I'm also I need to add a little bit more um, to her tongue because it looks too much like the uh, lip color but we'll get to that. We're gonna let her uh, her mouth dry first. Um, for her earrings, let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna make them a teal color so they kind of pop a little. There we go. And going along with that teal thing, I'm going to add a little bit of this to the top of her eye to give her some eye makeup, which I never do normally. So. Go ahead and do that. It looks a little crazy right now. So what I do is I, I lay it on there. I clean my brush. I uh, wipe it off so it's pretty it's pretty much damp. And then I just kind of come back in here and lift and spread. Now some of this is actually going to be um, black because of her eyeliner, but we got her some makeup. All right, now let's go ahead and start with her hair. I am taking that yellow ochre and I'm gonna mix it with some darker brown. It's a medium tone brown. I'm going to just paint in some sections. I'm 
gonna add some darker brown, just a little bit to that. Make sure, make sure it's nice and watered down. You want it to be a glaze, not an applied color. That way you can still kind of see the uh, yellow shine through, but you want it to be a different color than what you uh, have just applied. This is gonna run a little bit and I don't care. Just letting you all know. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the face again. This color right here, I don't really have in the face, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that into my darkest areas. I think it'll help the hair blend and kind of look more like it's part of the face a little bit. So I'm just going to add it to the darkest parts of my face. And it's gonna look a little different over the top of the face color anyway because you're going to see that glaze effect. You're going to see the skin tone under. So I do wanna blend it out. I'm not gonna blend it so much up here because I like kind of that spotted look that happened. But I am gonna blend it down the side of her face and on her neck. I am gonna add some cheeks. I'm gonna take her lip color and add her cheeks. Since she's surprised, I'm gonna kind of make them more red than I normally would. You're just a little bit more flushed when you're shocked, right? Now, because it's so bright and I'm just not used to that, I'm gonna also pull some of that into her eyes so it kind of ties it together. I'm gonna dry it because it's starting to run a little crazy. Wait, let me pull this up right here, actually. Pushing it down. All right, I'm gonna dry your face real quick. Okay, so there's an area right here that I'm not really fond of. So I'm gonna take my pink color, my cheek color, and I'm gonna just kind of blend it like that. I'm gonna wet my brush and then smooth it out. And do it again and smooth it out. Now I'm happier. Okay, so for her, I'm um, gonna finish up some things. I need to darken in her, um, her tongue. So I'm gonna take a brown color and add that to it just to kind of darken it up. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back in with my Sharpie and I'm gonna fill in her eyeliner and kind of just sharpen some lines up. So this is my surprise look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I would, I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do next as far as um, what emotion I want to do or maybe I want to do uh, tackle a boy so um, let me know in the comment section below um, if you do try this out please 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 tag me on Instagram I love seeing them they are amazing I have seen a lot of them and I love that you're doing these and you're enjoying it and yeah so uh, post them and then tag me so I can see them for some reason sometimes people are using using the hashtag uh, my documented journey but it's just not uh, showing up on my hashtag so if you do do this and you do use the hashtag, use it, but also tag me in it too so I get a notification that you have tried it and then I can actually see it. So anyway, um, all the other tutorials will be listed in the down bar so you can kind of go through those if you haven't already. Um, if you enjoyed this, share it with your friends, um, like the video, and leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see next. So, all right guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye.